Howdy, Beautiful Bart here, and welcome back. This is the Making Your First Game series, kind of a tutorial series, on creating our first game. And what we did in previous, this is our character. We have a nice cowboy hat. Again, the cowboy hat is available. Uh, we'll link it in Discord if you need it. Um, it is from uh, Epic Games. I'll show you where to get that if you want to get it without going through my Discord, but I recommend you join my Discord anyway. I'll show you that in just a second here. So, our character, we have modified the jump height to be a little bit more realistic. We'll play with that more later. Um, you can hit the shift key and sprint. And this is all replicated. The sprinting and walking key is replicated. This is a multiplayer game that we're creating. And it is using my simple multiplayer Steam template, which, as I've mentioned before, and is listed in plenty of my other videos, is available from me with a $20 donation through PayPal. $20 US currency, not Canadian currency, not anything else. $20. And that'll allow you to follow along with this series. And making your own very first multiplayer game. So, in this video, we've created a set of floating stairs, we duplicated it and linked them together so we can walk around underneath them. So let's actually make our own custom objects that we can use. This game just happens to be a cowboy game. Um, make whatever you want, but in this series I'm making this as a cowboy game. That's what I'm doing, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go to my assets folder, and if you've been following along you'll have all these too. And we've got our hat inside here, our player peg, and our hull tool. But we're going to make our first mesh that we can use in the map. Okay. So, to do this, what do we want? First object we're going to create is going to be... Oh, uh, I don't know. Let's start with our basics. Uh, what do we have to work with? In basics, we can use either static meshes or we can use BSP geometries. So we can go either way here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with basic and I'm going to show how to do this using the uh, static meshes. I want to make a cactus. Okay, we need a cactus for scenery. So I'm going to grab a cylinder, drag that into my map, and actually before I do that, let's, let's make sure everything is good to go. I'm going to create another map. This is our actual map that's linked to our game. I'm going to make another map and I'm actually going to do a new level, another VR basic map. Now let's actually use default. And I'm going to delete sphere reflection capture just because I don't need it. I'm going to grab this guy, this guy, and this guy. And I'm just going to drop them below the map. I'm going to select this platform right here. I don't even want it. I'm going to make my own. Show you how to do that. And then I'm going to right click and I'm create folder called map stuff. And then I'm going to grab all these things here and throw them into the map stuff. And there we go. Now I'm going to go to BSP geometry and I'm going to make my own test map terrain. So I'm actually going to grab a box collision, or not box collision, a box geometry, and I'm going to zero it out. Zero, zero, and zero. And I'm going to, when you're using BSP geometries, forget this tool right here. This select scale objects. That doesn't exist. Pretend it doesn't exist at all. If you want to change the dimensions of your box, you need to do it in your brush settings. I'm going to do this in the X. Well, how do I know which way is the X? Because you have a little compass rose right over here, X is going to go this way. Y is going to go this way. Z is going to go up and down. So on the X and Y, I want 1,000 by 1,000. And I'm hitting the tab key. And I'm going to change the Z height. I'm going to change it to 10. So all we need there transform location is zeroed out, rotation, scale, everything is, is normal, and we're going to put it at 1,000. Let's actually make it bigger. Let's make it 2,000 by 2,000. 
reason why we're doing it here instead of here so if you do it here with this it's going to stretch and I will show you an example I will drop this in here and if I use this tool I may be able to get what I want but look each of these squares this big gray square is 100 by 100 each of the little tiny squares inside is 10 by 10 whenever I just did that I rescaled this let's rescale it by four and now look this big gray box here is now 400 instead of 100 so when you try to apply a material to it it's going to look screwed up and as I told you before if you want a material to be applied to it automatically you select it in your materials folder and it'll be fine but I don't want that for my base so I'm going to delete that so by doing it with the brush settings I was able to keep all of my squares exactly 100 by 100 and it's also going to help me with placement of objects the next thing I want to do is go to world settings set my game mode to third person game mode so now when I hit play there we go we have a character everything works so now I'm going to do save all and I'm going to make sure I'm in my map folder maps folder with an S and I'm going to call this my build map so now I can actually build things and test things out here and know what I'm doing so now let's go ahead and and I'll show you later the difference between a BSP geometry and the basic static meshes they're similar in some ways but different in some ways but I'm gonna go ahead and take my cylinder and the reason why I'm on this let's go ahead and grab our player and I'm gonna to go to this so I can move my player back I don't want my player being at 0, 0, 0 anymore. I want the object that I'm working on, go back to my details panel, I want it to be at 0 and 0 and 0. Now, with this, we're not super worried. We can grab our material if we want to, and we can apply the material on here to be green so it's a cactus. Using BSPs in solid colors is no problem. If you have textures on your, your material, then yeah, that's going to be a problem. So I want to scale this up a little bit. I want it to be thinner. So my X and Y, let's go with 0.5 by 0.5 by 3. 3 is probably going to be a little bit too tall. It's okay if it sticks into the ground a little bit. So we go in here with our player and look. That's kind of a tall cactus. And that's fine. But I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. We're going to go at 2. Lower it back down so it's just slightly into the ground. So our pivot point's right there in the middle. I'll show you how to address that later. So now we're at 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 2. So if you look with our player, it's about... Mm, a little bit taller than us, and that's fine. So I'm actually going to take that and make it even smaller, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, and that's going to be fine. I'm going to grab a sphere, drag that into the map, and change my material so it's green, and I can go ahead and 0, 0, and 0. Why did I put a sphere in here? Well, I'll show you in just a second we don't see cactuses with flat tops up here so let's change our scale to 0 0.4 0 0.4 and 0.4 and now let's raise it up now when we look at it it's got a round top to it don't worry about the material looks right now um, so we actually have our base portion of our cactus if we want to put an arm or two on there we could do that as well we can grab another cylinder and we're going to make this at 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and 0 0.4. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Change our transform to 000. zero, zero. We're then going to raise it up. We're going to put this arm here. 
and again we want to give it a rounded appearance to it so we're going to grab a sphere and we're going to make our transform to 0, 0, and 0 we're going to go the same we did before at point 0.2, point 0.2, and point 0.2 give it our green color which we didn't do here so sphere 2, let's bring that up our height is set to 110 screw it Let's be uniform and set it to 100. So now we go back to our sphere. We can actually set that to 100 and this could be the correct height. Now we can just slide it over and then let's go ahead and grab our cylinder 2, control C and control V, and rotate that 90 degrees. and let's go ahead and just move it over and that's fine and we'll grab this other control C and control V and we can move it up and there we go so I grab that 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 and I'm just control left clicking so now I have all those selected I can control C control V and I'm going to rotate it around 180 degrees I'm going to move it over and I'm going to move it up. We just made one terrible ass looking cactus. Now, do we want to have all these pieces parts to make one freaking cactus? No, not really. So, let's combine them together to make one solid mesh. So, I'm actually going to go to my mesh folder. They're all the right color. They're, they're green. So, now I'm going to grab the cylinder and sphere grab all the pieces parts that made up our cactus and then I'm going to right click on any of them convert actors to static mesh go to my assets folder select mesh we're gonna call this cac um, SM for static mesh underscore cactus underscore zero one in case we decide we want to make versions of it later and okay and now we have our cactus now if we want to keep these here and if we want to make a change to our cactus later I'm just gonna drag it out of the way now if I drag my cactus in here well hell it's halfway in the damn ground because the pivot point the anchor point is right there so I'm going to scroll it up and I'm gonna change it to zero zero and zero even though we've already told it to go up some We'll bring it back up to 105. You can also change this to 5. And now you can get it to be directly on the floor. Now, the next step that I want to do is, I'm not going to worry about building lighting right now, is I want to change this pivot point. And I'm going to see if I can remember how to do this without screwing it up this time. Click on... Um, sorry click on perspective and I'm going to select front actually let's select left so I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna get right there and I'm gonna scroll in see we have a blue line right here that is our ground level this is the center or for our flat point so we have to decide if we want to anchor you know, our pivot to this point or this point. I'm actually going to anchor it to the green. So what I need to do is, well first off, uh, let's go back to perspective mode. And our player character is going to be in the way if we're going to do that mode. So go back to here and left. We need to make sure that we have our cactus selected and sorry remember my exact key here hold down the alternate key and middle mouse button and bring it down to the bottom of it and let go so I've just 
drug it straight down to the bottom of my cactus. Now I'm going to right click and I am going to come to pivot. Um, set as pivot offset. Save all. Save selected. And then I'm going to go back from left to perspective mode and hit play. So we got our cactus. Our original we didn't do anything with. But you notice we have no collision. Well that sucks. I want to go ahead and create another folder right here. Call this our cactus base. And I'm going to grab all these right here. She can grab this one and shift left click here. Control left click on that one. And we can move our cactus base, our original cactus, to right there. So we can always come back to that cactus and edit it later and make a different version with only one arm or whatever. But we need a collision. We don't want our player walking through here. So let's go into our cactus mesh. Now you notice that there's 10 material slots in here. It's kind of unavoidable. Um, yeah, we'll address some of this stuff here later also. But let's go ahead and if you look, you got a collision setting here, but let's go to our collision here and select simple collision and there is none. So I'm going to go to collision and I'm going to try this one right here. Add 26 DOP simplified collision. And that's probably going to be my best bet overall. Because we're not going to be able to walk through this cactus anyway. See its pivot point in here is still there. So I'm going to hit save and I'm going to close that and what happens now if we drag another one in here it's still there. So um, I need to go back in here. You can see the pivot point is set for this one. So let's try doing this again and again got to remember what I'm doing here. Right click pivot reset pivot offset no I don't want to do that so alternate middle mouse button drag it down and Click a little higher, see if we can get more of it. Go to pivot and set as pivot offset. That should have taken it. And go back to perspective. Save all. Nope, I'll have to refresh my brain on how to do that shit. But for now, this will be fine. So now if we go back in here and play though. Um, our cactus is solid. We can't walk through it anymore. Um, we can't jump high enough to get on top of it anyway. But um, it does have full collisions and we're good to go. We did a lighting build. I'm going to select the arrow next to build. Build lighting only. And it's going to take a few minutes. Starting up swarm connection. Uh, I never understood why it needed to go to... Epic Games every time I decide I want to do something. It turned black. Oh no! No bueno. That one's still green. Why the hell is this one black? Well, go into it and got all the materials right there. Look normal in here. Why did it turn black when I did a lighting build? Hmm. Come over here to General Settings. Light Map Resolution. I'm going to change that from 4 to 64 and let's try that now if I do a lighting build what happens to my cactus oh no do the lighting build what happens ah oh. it's a normal looking 
You notice the the seams are not bad. Eh, not perfect, but not bad. Whereas on this one, you can see the seam of everything, where all the cylinders are and all the spheres and all that stuff. But that'll be good enough for our first little whatever BS test object. All right, cactuses suck, man. We don't want cactuses. We want other cool stuff. All right, well, fine. What else do we want? Build lighting only so we can get rid of that shadow. Um, you could build houses. You could build weapons. Uh, you're going to be building static meshes, though. But what if you want them to be a skeletal mesh, so they can be a weapon or whatever else, and actually work better? Well, you can use static meshes as weapons, um, but I recommend doing them as that. Um, you could also right-click on our static mesh, and Asset Actions, we can export. You're going to export it as a static mesh, but when you import it, you can kind of trick it into being a skeletal mesh, and it'll create the skeleton for you, and it'll create the um, the physics asset for it and everything automatically when you do it that way. Um, but we're not going to worry about it just yet. We're just going to go ahead and get the basics of creating our own objects. And static meshes are going to be good for now. And later on, if you want to build your own pistol, you can do that and set the scale and all that whatnot. But we're not going to do, do weapons right now. We're going to do a small building. Now we can build it on this, and that'll be fine. Let's actually go in here with a BSP geometry instead of the basics. So you can show you an example of using a BSP geometry to create um, a static mesh instead of using the, the basic static meshes. Static mesh to static mesh, okay, no problem, but we're going to do a BSP geometry to static mesh. So what I want to do first off is I want to create... Hmm... Well, let's start off simple, and we'll work up from there. We're going to go 0, 0, and 0. Now, here's a little trick for you to remember, is these squares are 100 by 100. So if I bring this up to 100, remember the floor was supposed to be set 0, 0, 0. Well, let's put it at negative 5. And let's actually click on it and call this our floor. And I'm going to go ahead and move that into the map stuff folder. So now if we did that, we have now laid the floor section right here. This floor, the top surface of this floor is now going to be zero. So whenever I have this selected, if I selected it, since the pivot point's dead square in the middle, I can set it at 100 for my height. Okay, so what can I do with this BSP geometry? I can make a simple box. Lovely. It's amazing, isn't it? That's just pure awesomeness. Anyway, um, I can take that. I'm going to select it from here, not from in here. Now, I can take this and resize it using my brush settings. Not this. Use your brush settings. And I'm going to make this 1000 by... 1,000, and I'm going to move it back a little bit. Well, I want it tall enough for me to get inside of. I know that my player is roughly 200 tall, so let's try it at 300. So whatever you put for your Z here, you want half of that to be here, so that we're going to put 150 here. So now the base of it is on the ground. So if we come over here and look, that's going to be okay. But it's just a box. We, we can't go inside there. Well, we can. The first thing we need to do, though, is change this a little bit. Go into our settings, and we have hollow. Wall thickness is set to 10 by default. By making this hollow, now I'm going to ghost into it. It is a hollow box with the wall thickness of 10. Still can't get inside the damn thing. So how are we going to get inside? Well, I am going to grab another box geometry. And I know that my doors need to be able to let me get a 100 by 100 player through there. I'm going to 0, 0, and 
Actually, let's leave this at 100. So 200, I'm going to leave it at 200 for, for actually no, I'm going to bring it up to 110 because our height is 10 here. Well, box is too big. We're going to move it still, but I want to change the X. The X is going to be now 20. Why? Because the wall thickness is 10. So, yeah, that's fine there. But we need to go ahead and make the Y 100. And we need to go from brush type additive to subtractive. Now we've just carved a hole in the wall and I can come over here and I can walk right in. We can now have an entrance, but as you notice, um, the heights are off a little bit. Let's grab our first Brox brush here. And what happens if we raise it up? 155. It's going to float above the ground, so let's actually bring it back down. To our 150 where we were before. We've got a little bit of stick up of our door frame, so let's actually grab our box brush and let's move it down. So we can actually step into our building step up. Now we could, and I would probably say, since 10 for our wall thickness is a little bit skinny, let's grab that and change our wall thickness to 20. And that's a little bit thicker. I don't know, I, I would say maybe even 30 or 25. Let's grab this guy and now you notice it's a bit thicker there so we're gonna have to raise it up so now we go over to it we can step up into our building well that's a little bit nicer cool right well still ugly as hell but it gives us the base for our building we can use the same basic principle if we want windows I'll grab another box geometry and I will go ahead and make it our Z of 100. Let's actually make it, um, uh, screw it, 150 and see what it, what it looks like. The X, we only need that to be 25 or 30, whatever. And then our Y, let's see what 200 for now. Change it from additive to subtractive. Now when we bring it over here, we can stick it in here. It's going to give us a hole on our wall. And we just want to position it about where we need it. Rule of thumb, try to match the top of your windows with the top of your door. Now I can control C and control V and negative 90 and 250 so let's put this at 250 symmetrical to there. So now we have windows we can see through but they're just enough to where we can't walk through them actually probably take this one and this one and let's change it from 150 to 120 since I have both of them selected I can move both of them at the same time and that looks good to me we can see in we can walk in we have no materials applied to anything so let's click on this face and I'm going to select and then select all adjacent surfaces go to my materials 
Screw it. Let's use that one. Now, if we look at it now, it's all brown. Eh. This is where having uh, better materials will come in handy. And if you want to go ahead and do the uh, starter content, probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Now, the same thing here. You can see the side of the windows. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and add new features or content pack. And I really hate doing this, but I'm going to select it and it's going to add a bunch of crap we don't need just so we can get uh, some materials. I'm going to add to project and it's going to take a couple seconds. It'll add all the, the starter content to our project. As soon as you see stuff pop up there, we can go ahead and close this. Importing starter content. All right, we're good. So let's actually go to our materials folder, and we actually have some nice, nicer looking materials. And let's see, what do we have here? Mm. Nothing that I really like. <laughs> Um, I'm going to go ahead and just use um, Worn Walnut um, or Floor Worn Walnut. I'm going to select it and we're going to get all this again. Select all adjacent surfaces. Now that I've got that, I can do this and it applies the material to it. Now, if I hit play, we actually have wood texture on our building. Is it perfect? Nope. Is it serviceable? Yes. Um, let's go ahead and click on the windowsill. Same thing. Select. Select all adjacent. Hit the arrow so we put that same material there. And you do that for the, the other window opening. Select. Select all adjacent. Hit the arrow. Do our door entryway. And we are good. But we don't want this material on the ceiling and on the floor. So I'm going to select the floor and hmm, let's make it wood pine. See how that looks. And let's do that with the ceiling as well. See how that looks. Go in. It's terrible but this is what we got to work with so that's that you see I still haven't applied any material to the ground outside a because it doesn't matter and B because we can still use it as a ruler for putting things down so that's good enough um, can I put glass in here yes but I'm not gonna because we can add glass as in a secondary item that fits there but then convert it into a destructible mesh so we can shoot the glass and break the glass out so that's why I'm not going to add glass in here right now I'm not going to add any lighting any other cool stuff so what we have now is four box brushes made up this entire building is this a final product that I would love to use hell no looks like shit um, one of the things that I would probably end up doing is putting another box geometry right here on the side and making like corner trim piece and then I'd probably put a, a section out here in the front that would actually act as a um, uh, the step or the the front porch area or whatever you want to call it for the building this is not a production building we don't need it to be a production building we just need to get the point across if you wanted to go ahead and add in, um, let's actually delete that, and I'm going to change the material though, and I am going to go ahead and bring in a box, and nah, we're not going to use that material. We'll just use the same one as the rest of the building for now, and it'll be good enough. So what I'll do here is just kind of a facade kind of deal, zero and zero and I'll do X of 30 ask yeah, screw it we'll make it 20 and the Z height let's make that 
150. You want to shrink it down to not shrink it down, but move it down to rest on here. Bring it up to the forward edge. The Y, we can match the um, ee, wrong size of the building. And we have this nice facade here. I'm actually going to make this smaller. I'm going to show you one more trick, and then we're going to be done with this ugly-ass building. I'm going to make it um, half the width. We're going to make it 500. And I'm going to go ahead and move it over to match one side. So, why did I make it that way? Because I'm going to go to right here, Geometry Editing. I'm going to select this face right here. I'm going to click on Extrude. And don't show this ever again because it's going to work. You can kiss my butt. And then I'm going to use the arrow. And I'm going to extend this all the way over to here so that it matches that side and we just extruded that out and doubled the height. I'll show you why I did that here in just a second. So now that's good to go. So I'm going to go back to this mode. I'm going to grab that face and hell with it. All adjacent services display two materials and do that. So now all of them are the same but look what happened. click off everything. This material is going this way. Now this material is going straight up and down. Which one do I want to do? Uh, I'll come back to that in just a minute. So let's go back to our, our editing. I'm grab by clicking this. Now you can see I have all the dots here. I'm going to left click on this dot. I don't want you to, to have anything selected. I'm going to select this all right, nothing is selected, so I can, I can select this one right here and this one right here. So I, I did a control click. Now I can bring this up a little bit. And let's bring it up to eh, about right there. Now I'm going to left click on this one and control left click on this one. But I'm also going to come over here and control left click on this one and control left click on this one. So now as we're looking at the front of our building, I'm going to lower this down. Now that I look at it, I want this to be a little bit lower too. So I'm going to grab this one and then control left click on this one and just bring that down some. So we have a little bit of variance right there. Now I like for the top part, let's click on this, actually click on this, and this, and I'm going to change that one to this wood pine. So let's um, actually select all adjacent services and click that. But we still see that we have a difference in, in our angle. So I'm actually going to click on this one. And we can scroll down and rotate 90 degrees. Now we look at it. They're together. That's fine. And that's fine. So now we have our basic building. Everything is lovely. We can go ahead and let's convert this into a static mesh. The problem that we're going to run into is we are going to have a collision issue. Same thing we had before, but it's going to be even more problematic because we got a lot more going on. We want to be able to go inside, so uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in just a minute here. With all of them selected, brush settings. Click right here, show advanced, create static mesh, select your asset folder, mesh folder, and we're going to change the name to sm underscore test 
bar. Create static mesh. It converts all of them directly into that static mesh. So, yeah, and look at our pivot point. Absolutely sucks donkey nuts. So, let's actually go into our mesh folder. And now, if we can actually go in here and play, our mesh no longer has collisions. We can walk right through the damn walls. And if we do the same thing that we did before, the best way to do this is make your shed in, in a real program instead of doing it this way. These are great for placeholders, for testing things out. Hell, I definitely recommend going to Cindy Studios and getting the, um, the Western pack or any of the packs that suit the project you're building. But if I go in here to my test bar and I show collision here, simple collision, there is no simple collision. My pivot point is absolutely in the wrong place. Let's actually, um, if I control Z, undo clicking on actors. Uh, there we go. Control Z a couple times. So we still have our original model. I'm going to delete it. Force delete. Now you notice my pivot point is right here. Let's go to perspective, left, use the mouse wheel to scroll out a little bit, and I'm going to alternate middle of mouse button and drag it down. Same thing, drag it over to the center, scroll in so we make sure that we're in the right spot here this blue bar is ground level and I'm going to change it from left to front scroll out so the front of the building is actually part of our pivot point so I'm actually going to grab alternate middle mouse button and drag that over to there so we can place the front middle as our pivot point and then you right click Pivot, set as pivot offset, save all, blah, 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 blah. Now if we go back to perspective, look where your pivot point is now. Now whenever we saved it before, the pivot point was up here somewhere and it sucked. We didn't like that. So now if I, I do this and create static mesh, go back to my assets, mesh, and we'll try this again, sm underscore bar underscore temp and create static mesh. Now we've got our mesh and I'm going to unselect it, select it again, look where my pivot point is. So what happens if I actually take it and delete it and drag another one into the map? Well since we had it selected there, when we save the static mesh, it now has the anchor point of here is in the correct location. So if I zero, zero, and zero, there we go. It's going to put it right there on a zero, zero, zero for my pivot point. And that's the way I want to save it. But again, still, we don't have collision. So here's the problem. I'm going to go into that, and it's going to give me a terrible view for it world material um, it's missing a material somewhere oh no and that material is wrong well not worried about this attempt anyway so we're okay um, come down here same thing I did before light map resolution let's change that to 64 tab 2 3 Four, light map coordinate index change that to one I'm gonna save it but we still have no collision if we do collision and we apply that one well it's fine but we're not gonna be able to get into the friggin door I'll show you let's hit save and let's go back into the map if we go in here and try to walk in now, ooh, shit, we can't walk in the door. There's a couple ways that we can fix this. 
the cheaty method for doing crap like this is not final quality that you're not going to use for production anyway I would say cheat if you made this really cool elaborate static mesh you want it to work right then you're gonna to have to create your own collision um, for it and the easiest way to make that collision is to do it in another program like blender um, but we're gonna cheat and we're going to go back on collision and delete selected collision so we have no collision again and then we are going to cheat we're going to come down here to collision preset is block all is fine but collision complexity use complex collision as simple I don't recommend this for your actual maps but for test purposes this is going to allow you to be functional for now so now you can walk in you can't go through the walls everything is good to go and now if we do our lighting build build lighting only you can get as crazy as you want building these using BSP geometries is a normal method for creating quick assets inside of it now look what we have here it's functional we have a test building we can use there's no lights on the interior because well it allows you to build lighting in a normal fashion um, then you can start adding in lights we're not going to talk about lighting in this video this was just building the rough foundation and let's go ahead and save all and let's go back to our maps go to our um, we're using test map and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my two stairs here which is actually four pieces and I'm gonna delete those so now we got our, our map here I want to make this a little bit bigger so I'm gonna change the scale from one 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 to two tab two and we'll leave one there and I'm gonna go ahead and move my player characters out so we've made our, our, our world a little bit bigger in here the reason why I'm using this map as a a build map for us to try a multiplayer and, and check things out and, and whatnot is because it's got built-in walls that will prevent your players and testers from falling out of the world building walls is one way of keeping players in another way of doing it is setting up in volumes putting a blocking volume in that will keep them from falling out so you just want to keep your players from falling out so now I'm going to go back to my mesh folder I'm going to grab my temporary bar and I'm going to zero out this way and we want it to just sit like right there maybe so let's put it at a thousand And I'm actually going to put a couple of them in here. So a thousand and a thousand. Screw you. Negative one thousand. And control C, control V. And I'm going to take the negative away from here. Oh, you suck. Control C, control V. Why are you being an asshole? Control C, Control V. Thank you. Yes, sometimes Unreal Engine 4 can be an asshole. So now we've got two of them in here. Let's throw a cactus in here. So remember how we had that problem with the cactus? Let's see if we can fix that problem with the cactus again. Um, let's do a save all. Save selected. Let's go back to our build map. We don't need a bar in here. It's good to go go to our cactus and I'm going to go back to my mesh folder and I am going to delete my original cactus that I saved there it's not being used anywhere and now I want to go to perspective select left 
of Finer Cactus. I'm going to alternate middle mouse button and I'm going to drag this down to the blue line. Scroll in, make sure we're there. Alternate middle mouse button and I'm going to move it over to the center of the cactus there. And that should be good enough. So now if we go back to our perspective, we look at our wireframe, it's perfect, or not wireframe, our pivot point, let's go back to left. I'm going to right click and I am going to select pivot set as pivot offset go back to my perspective mode and then I'm going to go ahead and right click on here and I'm going to convert actors to static mesh go back to my assets folder mesh we're gonna call this SM underscore cactus underscore zero one and select OK I'm gonna unselect that and if I grab this now, you suck donkey nuts. It still didn't keep my damn uh, pivots. Well, close enough. Another way you can go about that is actually put them the item, build a blueprint for it, and drag it in there. But this is this is going to be good enough for now. So let's go ahead and do a lighting build. Check our cactus. Make sure it's good. I know that it's not. We're going to have to go back and do the same thing we did before. So once we build it, it's going to turn black. We know that we screwed it up. So let's go back over here again. Scroll down. We're going to change light map resolution to 64. And save. There we go. And build lighting only. We're all set. We have a cactus. We have a temporary bar um, everything's good so we'll do a save all so what really is gonna suck here is um, that pivot is gonna bug me perspective left stop alternate middle mouse button there pivot set as pivot offset save save all it's not gonna remember that any damn way but while it's here we know that it's correct so let's actually go to our regular test map go to two buildings grab our mesh and I will remind my brain on how to do this shit again but I'm gonna go ahead and just bring it up to 100 yeah good enough now I'm gonna go back in here and do the same shit I'm gonna go into left and alternate middle mouse button and pivot set as pivot offset go back to perspective now I can drag this wherever I want to control C control V and paste another one and if I want to make a little bit of nicety here, I can rotate it just a little bit. Move it wherever you want to on the map. You can even set this up as foliage and have it do that way. Or you can actually do 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, make it smaller. And then if I hit Control v again, I still have that one selected. So I can grab some cactuses, throw them in the map, do whatever I want. And if I want to make this one bigger, 1.1, 1 1.1, 1 .1, 1 .1. So now we hit play. 
it automatically selects between our two start points. You can see we haven't done a lighting build yet, so thing is awesome. We got cactuses. Let's build and see what happens. Lighting build failed. Navigation building complete. Um, not sure why it doesn't like the lighting build. Let's actually get rid of the light mass importance volume. And see if it likes that now. It's still failed. Um, yeah, it does not like it. Well, nonetheless, for right now, this is just going to get us going and get us in here. If it don't want to build lighting, then screw it. We'll just have a lighted building on the inside. All right, so that's that. We can build our own temporary structures, our own temporary placeholders. This is great for making, like I said, placeholder items. They are not production quality. And that cactus is floating in the air because we shrunk it down and its pivot is on the ground. There we go. Seems that when we made it bigger, we can move it up. So, yeah, just placeholders only. Again, I recommend if you're going to get any assets, get scenery objects and um, other stuff like that. Avoid too much of the, uh, the other templates and stuff like that. Not saying they're all bad, it's just until you get started and learning how to do things, avoid the Ushinies of all the, the fancy shooter templates and all that kind of stuff. Alright, so let's actually take a look here. I'm going to go back into my UI folder, my widget folder, main menu widget. What map are we using? We are using test map. So this is the map that we're using. Let's see what happens now if we can package this up. First thing we're going to need to do is go to our folder where we had the original version of that and we need to delete it. Now, go back here, File, Package Project, Windows 64-bit, and then Select, because we're already on our same folder. If not, then go to the correct folder that we were just in. If you guys have questions about this project and what's going on with it, come by my Discord channel if you want answers. I don't read most of the time the comments in YouTube. I will respond as soon as I possibly can if you post them in my Discord and the correct channels. I've got UE4 or Unreal Engine 4 General. That's your general Unreal Engine 4 questions. Got a section just for Cinti Studios assets. If it's complicated questions you need an answer to, put it in the questions and answer section. I have demos in the BBG demos section. Um, if it's just general comments about anything non-related to Unreal Engine 4, put it in General Mayhem. Um, do stop by and read the server rules. Very simple, don't use the mention feature for anybody. Specifically don't use uh, the at mention feature with my name on it because I'm just going to delete it. I'm not even going to read it, I'm just going to delete it. Um, stop by, read the server rules. They're very few, and that's basically it. Don't use the mention feature for anybody whatsoever. It's rude and inconsiderate, in my opinion, and it's my Discord server, so my opinion is what counts. Um, don't harass anybody. Don't be a dick. Just go there. Ask questions. If you don't get a response, don't worry, I'm sick quite a bit, and I don't sit in front of the computer all the time. Not that I have a life or anything, I'm just saying that I've, I've been having a lot of health issues, so I'm not always in front of the computer. And sometimes when I am, like right now, I haven't had much sleep in the last couple of days, so I'm not as sharp as I normally am. 
which is horrible because I'm about as sharp as a freaking bowling ball. Um, and don't worry, you don't have to insult me about anything. I can assault myself just fine. Build was successful. Let's take a look here. And again, Windows no editor. I hate you. Go away. Um, so, we're going to do that. And we're going to do that. Get rid of the Windows no editor folder. After we move everything, go in here. And let's go to multiplier host. Doesn't matter what I put in there because I'm just checking. And there we go. Yee haw. Got our cactuses. Oh shit. And fall back in it. Look what you guys made me do. I forgot to set up my collisions on here. Alright. Main menu. Exit game. Go back to my assets folder, mesh, cactus, collision, save, and now go back in here and <laughs> delete everything all over again and package it up one more again. And that will be it. But we know that it works. Oh, sorry. Let's test it one more time here. Now that we have collisions on our cactus, collisions on our building, collision on our cactus, everything is awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and package this one more time. And select folder. Minimize that. Like I said, if you sit here and watch everything in here, you'll go crazy sometimes because you're like, hmm, but I saw something yellow. Doesn't matter. Relax. Let it finish. But I saw something green. Don't worry about it. Let it finish. I saw something red. Don't worry about it. Let it finish. If you see something red and it says packaging failed, then worry about it. The only thing that should, only reason why it should fail right now is if you don't have Visual Studio installed. Uh, there are other videos out there on setting that up. I don't remember how to set it up. I set it up years ago, and it's been working just fine. I did have to update it one time, but ugh, whatever. You know, I, I did it quite a long time ago, and I don't remember how to set it up. So there are other videos out there from other people that will show you how to do that. Um, essentially, you installed um, Visual Studio, Microsoft Visual Studio, whatever the latest version is, just get whatever the latest version is from Microsoft. It's free, so don't worry about it. Don't be getting all crazy and shit. But it's only, it says I need 2015 or I need 2000. No, just get whatever the newest version, latest version of, of Microsoft Visual Studio. Doesn't matter if it says 2018 or 2019. But but the, the log said I needed 2015. No, I, 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 just shut up get the latest version and you won't have any problems steam api disabled no no it's not it says it is but it, it's not it still works so here we go it says it again steam api was disabled no no it's not it lied oh no it lied to me Anyway, we're just about done here. There we go. Build successful. So now, I can do this. And again, Windows No Editor sucks donkey dots. I want to move all my shit over here to the my first game folder. And I want nothing inside the Windows No Editor folder. So I can delete the Windows No Editor folder. And there we go. So now we play it. If you get a firewall warning, it's normal because it's using the internet. Because it's using Steam. Access Steam community while playing. Shift tab. That works just fine. Steam username and avatar upper right hand corner. If it does not show, then you did something wrong. You either don't have Steam running or you did something, you messed up something. If you did exactly everything that I showed you to this point, then this works. Every time. No problem. Hit multiplier, host, 
create a name make a hey, look how fast that damn thing goes in there in future videos I will show how to do a loading screen and a splash screen and the other junk the, the pretties hey look collisions on cactuses in the future also we're gonna make it to where if you walk into a cactus it's going to hurt you you will take damage uh, things like that if you want to see features let me know but that will be one of the first things we're going to do since we have a health bar we need to start taking health away so if you run into a damn cactus this shit gonna hurt so we're gonna add some damage to the cactuses all right guys thanks for watching i know it's late and uh, my normal crowd is not watching because they're already asleep and my um eu uh, viewers it's well middle of the night for you guys too so actually it's early morning for you guys yeah, it's 20 after 3 here in the morning, and as you can see, it's 3.18 a.m., and my ass is still here. So, like I said, next video, um, I will cover making our ugly-ass cactuses do damage. I don't think they're that horrible. They just have shit materials on them. But, eh, whatever. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you around. I may actually do one more stream tonight. Um, for those who want to recall these and, and come in after this, we're at the one hour mark. I cut off my videos at one hour. Um, so I'm going to come back in and I'll do one more video, which will be doing the cactus damage and might add something else as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching and we will see you soon.